Bad calls, missed calls, and inconsistent calls have caused frustration for players, coaches, and fans alike. In this video, we'll explore some of the issues with umpiring and suggest some solutions to help improve the system. Now, before we dive into today's topic, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, we'd greatly appreciate it. Now let's get started on the video. When it comes to umpires, it seems that no news is good news. That's because when umpires are doing their job well, nobody talks about them. However, when they make a bad call, everyone is quick to point it out. One umpire who has been in the spotlight for all of the wrong reasons is Angel Hernandez. In a fiery legal battle, MLB umpire Angel Hernandez has been denied claims of discrimination by the league. Hernandez, who has been an MLB umpire since 1993, filed a lawsuit in 2017 after being overlooked for crew chief positions and World Series work. The lawsuit was dismissed in 2021, but Hernandez appealed, alleging manipulation of performance rankings for minority umpires. The MLB responded with a 58-page legal brief asserting that Hernandez's race or national origin played no part in their decisions. The MLB listed several instances of Hernandez's failings as an umpire. Most notably, three overturned calls during the 2018 ALDS game between the Red Sox and Yankees. This crucial game was the first playoff game to have an umpire's three calls overturned since the expansion of Instant Replay in 2014. The MLB claims that Hernandez's performance in this game was a significant reason for him not being chosen for the World Series that year. The legal battle also includes discussions of Hernandez's controversial decisions as crew chief in 2013 and his behavior in 2019. The MLB has criticized his preference for ejections over warnings and his communication issues with other umpires. Hernandez is one of the most disliked umpires in baseball, and for good reason. He has a history of making questionable calls, and his mistakes have been costly in several high-profile games. One of his most infamous moments came during the 2018 ALDS game between the Boston Red Sox and New York Yankees. In that series, Hernandez had three calls overturned, all at first base, and all on live national television. It was a high-stakes matchup between two of the most hated teams in American sports, and Hernandez's mistakes were on full display for the world to see. Despite his poor performance, Hernandez did not show remorse or offer an apology. Instead, he sued Major League Baseball for discrimination, claiming that he was being punished unfairly for his mistakes. However, the real issue was his blown calls and the fact that they directly impacted the outcome of the game. It's understandable that Hernandez would feel defensive about his job, but suing the league was not the solution. Unfortunately, for Hernandez is not the only umpire who has made bad calls on the field. In fact, bad calls are part of the game, and no umpire is perfect. However, it's important to recognize when an umpire's mistakes are more than just a minor error. When an umpire's calls are constantly bad, it can have a negative impact on the game and the players. Fans deserve better than that, and so do the players. On the other hand, there are many umpires who do an excellent job and are respected by players and fans alike. These umpires may not get as much attention as the bad ones, but they are just as important to the game. It's important to recognize the good work that umpires do, and to acknowledge their contributions to the sport. Umpiring is a difficult job, and mistakes are bound to happen. However, it's up to the umpires to learn from their mistakes and strive to do better. And it's up to the league to hold umpires accountable when their mistakes are more than just a minor error. By doing so, we can ensure that the game is played fairly, and that everyone has a chance to succeed. Becoming an umpire may seem like an exciting career, but it's not as easy as you might think. According to MLB's official website, anyone at least 18 years old and with a high school diploma can attend one of the four professional umpire schools to get started. These schools include the Jim Evans Academy of Professional Umpiring in Florida, the Harry Winstead Umpire School in Florida, the Minor League Baseball Umpire Training Academy in Arizona, and the MILB or MLB Umpire Development Program. The process of becoming an umpire is challenging and involves attending one of these schools and passing a rigorous evaluation progress. If you're lucky enough to make it, you will start in the minor leagues, where you will work your way up the ranks. But the path to the major leagues is a difficult one. Only 76 umpires are selected to work in the majors each season, and the turnover rate is low. There is only one full-time position available each season, and it's highly competitive. Furthermore, the Major League Baseball Umpires Association is a powerful union that protects its members, making it difficult to fire an umpire for poor performance. 
As a result, some umpires who constantly make bad calls can continue to work in the major leagues. In fact, Angel Hernandez, who we mentioned earlier, has a history of making poor calls, but he continues to be employed by the MLB. Becoming an umpire is a difficult and highly competitive process, and even if you make it to the major leagues, you may not be held accountable for your performance. Whilst the umpiring system is not perfect, it is an essential part of baseball, and fans can only hope that the MLB will continue to work towards improving the system in the future. In order to improve the umpiring situation in Major League Baseball and establish a more transparent and accountable system, several comprehensive steps can be implemented. These will not only elevate the performance and professionalism of umpires, but also foster a culture of continuous learning, collaboration, and innovation in the realm of officiating. To begin with, the MLB should invest in advanced training and development programs for aspiring umpires. This will enable them to effectively handle high-pressure games, refine their skills, and make more informed decisions on the field. These programs should encompass both theoretical and practical aspects of the game and include simulations and real-life scenarios to prepare umpires for various situations. Moreover, regular evaluations and assessments should be conducted to identify areas where umpires need improvement. This will help provide targeted support and guidance to help them overcome their weaknesses and become more proficient in their roles. Additionally, feedback from players, coaches, and other stakeholders should be incorporated to give umpires a well-rounded perspective on their performance. To foster a culture of continuous learning, umpires should be encouraged to attend workshops, seminars, and peer reviews to learn from each other and stay up to date with the best practices. This will not only promote collaboration among umpires, but also facilitate the sharing of knowledge and experiences. Furthermore, the MLB should consider partnering with academic institutions to conduct research on umpiring methodologies and techniques, which can then be integrated into the training programs. Open communication between umpires, players, and coaches is essential in building trust, understanding, and mutual respect. Establishing a platform where all stakeholders can voice their concerns and discuss issues can help address any problems before they escalate. This can also create a more positive and inclusive atmosphere within the league. The integration of technology and umpiring is an aspect that the MLB should explore, if not for the sheer entertainment of watching a robo-ump argue with a manager. Imagine electronic strike zone systems or robo-umps with sassy AI personalities, assisting human umpires in making more accurate and consistent calls. The overall fairness and integrity of the game would be enhanced and the robotic dancer would thoroughly amuse fans. Additionally, wearable technology could provide umpires with data-driven insights and real-time feedback, transforming them into cyborg arbiters of justice on the field. Imagine an umpire in a heated argument with a coach, only to have their smartwatch beep with a reminder to breathe and stay zen. Thanks to advanced analytics, the calls would be more accurate and the umpires might become the most chill dudes on the diamond. The MLB should also share umpiring data and statistics with the public to engage fans in the conversation and foster a more informed and engaged fan base. This will provide fans with insight into the umpiring process and help them better understand the challenges faced by umpires. Social media and other digital platforms can be utilized to promote transparency and open dialogue among fans, players, and umpires. A performance-based pay structure should be introduced for umpires. By tying their salaries to their performance, umpires will be more incentivized to continuously improve and maintain high standards of professionalism. This will also encourage greater transparency within the union, as underperforming umpires will be more likely to be replaced, ensuring that only the best officials oversee the games. But now that we've gone through all that, we want to hear from you. What do you think MLB should do to address this issue? Let us know in the comments below. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.